Hello everyone, my name is Yuan Mao. This is presentation for the end of this Have Ledger Mentorship project. Oops, oops, sorry. I'm from Edmonton in Canada. I graduated from the University of Alberta with the computing science degree. And I work with the Bao Hua and Chang on the Have Ledger Cello project. So the initial goal for this project was to create a practical, operational, and distributed web application to manage a large blockchain network, especially for the Hub Ledger fabric. And the web application that we create allowed the user to build a fabric network and connect the network with multiple organizations, which is currently in development. The final product will help those users who don't have a blockchain background manage a large blockchain network. The tools and the tech stack we use for this project um, include Python and Django framework for building the server, JavaScript and React for building the client, and the Docker for the deployment. So for the project objectives, the first uh, objective was to design and implement a visual interface dashboard to build and operate the fabric network. The second one uh, was to build a connection between the web application and the network. The third objective was to have ability to create channels and join organization to the channel. Um, for project deliverables, I actually did a lot of pull requests. So they can split into three deliverables. The first third deliverable was fixing small bugs and errors. This helped me a lot in understanding the code base and get started in the development. And then the second deliverable was to build a connection between the web application and the network using the Docker. This expands my knowledge in Docker and understanding of their application architecture. My third deliverable was to implement the channel creating, updating, and retrieving API endpoints. This enhanced my web development skills. So for the project execution and accomplishment, I was able to create a web application that allowed users to build a fabric network. And I also was able to create a fabric channel and join the organization to it. And those channels can communicate with two or more sophisticated network members. Unfortunately, um, I spent a lot of time on previous deliver deliverables and debugging some issues re related to the fabric. So the virtual interface of the channel part wasn't finished. And I most of the implement implementation of the channel part as this was my first blockchain related project. And I learned a lot from this project from the concept of two practice with the fabric. Overall, I found expanding my knowledge of fabric blockchain and the web development. And it was also most challenging along with understanding how to utilize the fabric tools and config the fabric networks. So recommendation for future work, definitely finish the virtual visual interface part of the channel for this project. Besides, because our backend was written by Python and we don't have a suitable fabric as decade to perform the operations we want. So we have to use the fabric tools to manage the network. I think it would be better to use the Fabric Python SDK in the future for better maintainability. So for the output of this project, I just put some screenshots here, demonstrate how the backend server will be built a Fabric network and create a Fabric channel. 
for building uh, the network, we need to make our request to the backend server with the network data. And then we generate a config TX YAML file based on the request body. Also, we will put the data into the Django database for later use. Finally, the server used the Fabric Tool Config TX Gen command to create a network. And next, the server side provides some endpoints about the channel, such as retrieving, updating, and creating. For creating a channel, the client side needs to send the channel data and we generate a profile and add it to the config TX YAML based on that data. And then the backend server use the fabric to config TX chain again to write a new channel transaction. Then we execute this peer, com peer channel command to create a channel and join the organization to it. So for insights I have gained, I learned how to search a large code base. The, this project involves several parts such as the server and the client and some of the self-defined self libraries for helping building networks and storing the certi certi certificates, et cetera. Uh, it was hard to understand at the beginning, but over the mentorship, I get confidence to explore large projects. Besides, as I mentioned before, this is my first uh, blockchain project, and I gained a lot about the uh, blockchain knowledge, and I was inspired by the interest of it. For otherwise, I'd pass on to other mentees is to learn from existing results and tutorials. Fabric is a good project with a lot of tutorials that help developers to get a start. And I also learned a lot from this project, such as how to format your code and improve your readability and apply design patterns to make a good maintainability. And last but not least, pay attention to detail and dive into the result deeper. Try to understand what it is and the reason behind that. They will help a lot in development and the debugging errors. And that's all. Thanks everyone for listening. Feel free to ask any questions.